Well, I got challenged to do the ice bucket challenge for ALS. Actually, realistically, I'm not gonna do this challenge because I believe it is completely stupid. I'm mainly commenting on the fact that this does, uh, it, this whole thing does uh, raise awareness for ALS. It's a really important thing. I know people that have that are going through, uh, you know, tough situations, especially a close friend. But the problem is this whole ice bucket challenge, lighting yourself on fire, by the way, which is completely moronic and idiotic, we won't go there, but this whole ice bucket challenge thing, once again, it's great for awareness, but it's actually, you're defeating the entire purpose of what this benefit is for. And that is donating, that is raising money for awareness, raising money for medication cure and everything like that. By just do, you know, by when you're challenged to actually do this challenge, you are actually, uh, you're not donating, you're not really helping. You're just being like, hey, I'm Eric, I got challenged by blah, blah, blah. And I did by a couple other photographers on YouTube. And all of a sudden, you know, if I do the ice bucket challenge, I say, well, you go do it. Well, guess what? Instead of donating 25, 50, $100, you're completely defeating the entire purpose. So my challenge to you is stop, is do the ice bucket challenge. Think of it a different way, but as you do it, actually put your freaking credit card. So I did donate $50 for ALS foundations. And instead I'm not going to do it because first of all, I don't feel like getting wet. I believe the ice bucket challenge is completely stupid, but if you want to do it, have some fun with it, but actually freaking donate. Just don't think of it as an excuse. That's all I got. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Ice bucket challenge. Good idea. Flawed because a lot of you guys who've done this aren't even ponying up any cash to do it. Donate. Actually do something good with it. <sighs>